of those bodily expressions that happens automatically. It's involuntary. We breathe, like our heartbeat. It beats. For your entire life, there has been respiration. You have been breathing. But it's also one of the only ones that you can regulate voluntarily, intentionally as well. And a lot of the research that has been coming out for a while and is continuing to come out has been on the way that your body, and now we're learning the brain, very much changes when you choose to breathe with awareness or when you perhaps choose to change your breathing in some subtle way to bring about some change, perhaps a relaxation response by engaging the breath a little bit more deeply, and we'll do that in a moment. So for this first part of this instruction, this concentrated awareness, we sit and we simply allow awareness to remain with the breath for as long as we can or as long as we choose. And where it moves off in distraction, we bring it back to the breath. Do it for two minutes, do it for five minutes, do it for 10 minutes, do it for 20 minutes. And research has shown that the more you do it, the easier it is to do it for a little bit longer, and perhaps the more benefits that flow from that. Before you came here and sat down, were you thinking about your breath as one of the things that was happening in this moment? And you may not have really been too keenly aware of anything that was happening in this moment. While the breath has some special qualities, bringing awareness to anything that's happening in the moment is mindfulness. We use the breath as a way of practicing it so that then when we want to be more attentive to what somebody's saying so that we can really listen, or if we want to be reading some material to really be able to keep our attention there, we've exercised the muscle. And we'll talk a little bit about that muscle in a moment that does so. And indeed, when we do this concentrated awareness, this focused attention, distraction tones down. Emotional reactivity tones down. We continue to exercise the muscle of focus, and in doing so, our brain strengthens those very neural pathways associated with holding your attention somewhere and not having distractions make their way as much into conscious awareness. There's a whole lot of stuff trying to get into conscious awareness. And we're strengthening the muscle that allows us to hold our attention where we wish to. And you'll find that it enhances your attention, your concentrated concentration skills. And by bringing awareness to the breath, we begin to shift from what might be a sympathetic nervous system flight or flight response that's engaged from time to time. You may not even be aware of it. When you go to the library and you've just parked your car and you're walking and you're thinking, you might be moving into that fight or flight, agitated. And when you bring awareness to the breath or engage the breath with a little bit of a deeper breathing moment here or there, you shift to the parasympathetic, relaxing away from that sympathetic arousal cortisol that's rushing through your body when you get stressed and makes its way into your brain and into your hippocampus, which is a part of the limbic system, very close to the amygdala, responsible for memory, keeping track of things. A little bit of cortisol is good, gets you engaged, gets you alert. A little bit too much, too often, and it begins to wreak havoc on your hippocampus and your capacity to remember and learn. So this breath is a very powerful thing. And you can use it as a tool. It's something that you can do for your brain. 